today I'm going to show you how to measure blood pressure at home. So I started measuring blood just a few days ago and I started it because my grandfather had high blood pressure and he had to go to a hospital or to a doctor every time he wanted to measure it. So he had to go to the hospital like three times a day and I felt bad for him so I just learned how to do it and now I can always measure his blood pressure. So what you would need is a stethoscope, this thing, which you put in your ear over here and then you can hear the pulse by putting it, this thing onto the pulse. And also what you need is this blood pressuring, blood pressure measuring monitor. So this is the belt which goes around your arm and then this is the pump where you pump in the air and here you can see how much pressure it is so it goes up to like 300 and if you pump it up it always goes up and then you can see how much pressure it is. So first of all I'm gonna tell you a bit about what blood pressure is. So blood pressure is the pressure of the circulating blood in the body. So most of the pressure is due to the pumping of the heart. So what we measure is the pressure against the walls of the bigger blood vessels. So the average blood pressure, which is healthy for the body, is 120 to 80. A low blood pressure would be below 100 and a high blood pressure would be above 140. So if you have low blood pressure, usually the symptoms are dizziness, nausea, so you feel sick and you feel like vomiting and just being tired all the time and also like sometimes vision blurness. So high blood pressure sometimes is not noticeable. It doesn't have particular symptoms but the symptoms can be similar to when you have low blood pressure and also you can have headaches and like Feel, uh, feeling sick as well, like feeling like to vomit. And it can also strain your veins, like you strain your blood vessels and lead to strokes and heart attacks. Low blood pressure is called hypotension and high blood pressure is called hypertension. So this, once you put the stethoscope on into your ears, you have to be careful that you don't bang this against something because then it's going to really damage your ears and it's super loud. So you would do this last after preparing, like putting the belt on the arm and stuff. So this would you would do last. This is my grandfather and I'm going to do this on him. So first you have to find the artery, the big blood vessel. And here it's written artery. So you put it, the arrow is pointing to that. So you put it over here and you wrap this around. It should be tight that two fingers can still fit inside. So this needs to be always turned, needs to be turned down now that the air just doesn't just go out again. So it needs to be closed that the pressure goes into this thing and makes it go bigger. Now I'm going to put these in my ear and put this onto the vein. And he's just going to hold it with one finger like that. Now I'm going to take this and I'm going to pump it kind of to 200. So this is 200 now. Now I'm going to take this and slowly release a bit of air. And when you hear the first pump, that's the first number. And when you hear the last pump, that's going to be the last number. So I'm going to release a bit of air. Okay, so the first pump was on 150 and the last one was 80. So he does have a bit high blood pressure, but that's how you measure it. I'm going to measure a second person. You do it now. Okay. So I wrap it around, now I take this and put it about on the vein and now this is turned down now I'm going to pump till 200 about.
And now I'm gonna slowly release. He has 150 to 90. Same as Opa. <laughs> High blood pressure. Yeah. So now I'm gonna uh, measure my mom's blood pressure and I know she has low blood pressure. She had 100 to 60, so she has low blood. So we still didn't get a person who had normal blood pressure, only like high and really low. So my, after my mom measured mine, I have like 110 to 80. So it's also low, but it's not super low. So. So it's always practical to have these two tools at home because you can just measure anyone's blood and it is really cheap to buy. So if you want to like, if you have more questions and you really want to go into it and you really want to know like how does this blood pressure monitor work and why do you pump it up on your arm and if you have more questions like that you should maybe like read about it on Google or like watch other professionals do it maybe because I'm not a professional as you can see and I just wanted to show you how you can measure it that you can measure anyone's blood pressure if you want to know if it's high or low but I don't want to give you information which is wrong so yeah this was just a video about how to measure it so if you want to go more into it like more advanced you can also just so read it. I hope this video helped you and you learned something from it and that you liked it and yeah I'll see you in my next video. Bye!